Escape boys and girls, how are you? I'm glad to see you. I'm Miss Mara from the Gudakunst Public Library, and I am here to welcome you to Zoom Moves. How fun does that sound? Okay, so Zoom, you think, Miss Mara, what is Zoom Moves? Well, Zoom Moves starts with a little story because we are the library, and I do love a good story. Okay, but then the story, it's going to be about animals. Okay, and then after the story, then we're gonna start moving around like animals and we can get all our wiggles out and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, and you can do it with me, all right? So I'll tell you the story. It's gonna be a little short one. And then afterwards, maybe you could practice telling the story to somebody else. That might be kind of a fun thing to do, okay? But then, then we'll start moving around and we'll do some animal things and we'll, we'll act like animals. And I think that sounds really fun, okay? So you wanna hear the story of the day? Today's story is called The Tortoise and the Hare. Now, you might think, Miss Mara, what in the world is a tortoise? And what in the world is a hare? I thought that we were talking about animals that we knew. Well, you do, and we are. So, the tortoise, that is a word. Some of you out there might know what that is. It is a very ginormous turtle, okay? Very slow moving and they get to be very old and that's a tortoise okay very big not like a little not like a little snapping turtle like we have around here okay not like a little pet sized turtle like big bathtub sized big tortoise okay so that's a tortoise all right and they're very slow and they get very old and maybe you could do a little research about a tortoise and find out more about it okay and then what was the animal i said oh right a hare okay so what is a hare. A hare is not this. Well, it is this, but it's spelled differently. It's spelled H-A-R-E. And a hare is like a rabbit, okay? Only very, it's, it's larger. It's got really long legs and it makes it very strong. And they can go really fast, all right? And they can jump really far because of their big back kicker back legs, okay? So this is a story, you could call it the turtle and the rabbit, okay? Or we're gonna call it the tortoise and the hare because that's the way the story go, with the way it goes, okay? And this is a kind of story called a fable. And they and there is a whole collection of fables. Like Miss Mar, you're messing up all the words. Tortoise means turtle, and hare means rabbit, and fable means story. Boys and girls, you're keeping up, you're doing great. A fable is a very short story. There's a collection of them by somebody famous called Aesop, okay? It's a very short story. That's very little lesson that can be very important in your life, okay? So this, the fable that we're gonna tell today is the fable of the tortoise, turtle, and the hare, rabbit, okay? Here's how it goes. A hare was making fun of the tortoise for being so slow. Do you ever get anywhere, he asked with a mocking laugh. Yes, replied the tortoise, and I get there sooner than you think. I'll run you a race and prove it. The hare was much amused at the idea of running a race with the tortoise, but for the fun of the thing, he agreed. So the fox, who had consented to act as the judge, marked off the distance and started the runners off. The hare was so fast, he was soon far out of sight. And to make the tortoise feel very deeply how ridiculous it was for him to try to run a race with a hare, he lay down beside the course to take a nap until the tortoise could catch up. The tortoise, meanwhile, kept going slowly and steadily, and after a time, he passed the place where the hare was sleeping. But the hare slept on very peacefully. And when at last he did wake up, the tortoise was near the goal. The hare now ran his swiftest, but he could not overtake the tortoise in time. And my dear friends, the, the lesson of this fable 
is that the race is not always to the swift. Swift means fast. Tortle, tortoise is a turtle, and the hare is a rabbit, and the fable is a story, and swift means fast. We learned some fun new words today, didn't we? That's why I love a good story. So that's the thing to remember. First of all, don't, don't all go being a show off, okay? And don't be lazy. And don't assume that you always got the best answer. Because somebody might come from behind and have one up on you. Which I think is a good lesson to have in this world, don't you think? Well, boys and girls, let's talk about being animals. Because we're really here to get our wiggles out, right? Okay? So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off our shoes. You got it? Okay, I'm taking off my shoes. Ugh. Here goes one. Ugh. Just a minute. Here goes the other. Okay. Shoes are off. Now, we're going to be ready to get our wiggles out and act like some animals. Okay? So the first one, let's practice. Put on our rabbit ears, put on our hair ears. Okay, you got it? Okay. Now we're gonna run. Run, 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 run. We're gonna run really fast. Oh, boys and girls, we are running really, 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 really fast. Just like that hair. Woo! Okay, there we are. Run, run, run. Oh, we gotta get up. Run some more wiggles out. Boys and girls, run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh, okay, well, you know what? That hair, or that tortoise, he's never gonna catch me. Let's lay down and take a little nap. Okay, you ready? Okay, everybody go down, squat down, over onto our sides. Oh, there we are. Oh, we're taking a little nippity nap. Just like the hair did. Now, boys and girls, we're gonna hold on to your hands and knees, and we are now going to pretend to be the tortoise. So, look over your shoulder, Put on your big, heave on your big old shell on your back and on all fours, very slowly. Go as slow as you can go on your hands and on your knees. Oh, I'm crawling as slow as I can go. Can you go this slow? Oh, my boys and girls, can you go very slow like a tortoise? Can you do it very slow like a tortoise? Hunch that back up. There you go, like a tortoise. There we go. Oh, what a good tortoise you're being. Very, very good. And we're going to put on your ears. Very good. Oh, that was a good one. that was in the story. Do you remember what it was? Who was the one who set the course and started the race? Do you remember? Oh, yes, I did hear one of you. It was a fox. That's right. All right. So what we're going to do to be the fox, all right, is put out our tails, right? Because top fox have those beautiful bushy tails, all right? Those big, beautiful, bushy red and white tails, all right? Put your, all right, and then wiggle your little fox tail while we're down here like a tortoise. Wiggle your little fox tail. Can you do that? Oh, good job. Good wiggle. Very good. All right. Now, I thought it might be kind of fun to try some other animals. I love animals. I think they're just so fascinating. Okay? So let's try doing some animal poses. Okay? Or some animal moves around. Okay? What? How about, who wants to try being a dog? Let's try being a dog. There are two ways that we can be a dog. I have two dogs. I have a dog named, named Ruby, and I have a dog named Maisie. And they both like to do this stretch, but especially Maisie, okay? So to be a dog, to pretend to be like Maisie, would you get on your hands and knees, all right? On your hands and knees like this. Put your little paws, your front paws, out front. On your back paws, tip your tails under. And now we're gonna pop up and we're gonna stretch. We're gonna go like this. Whoa, look at that. We're stretching like a dog. This is one of my Maisie's favorite poses. So we stretch out, we try to get our tail way up high, and we stretch out our front paws, and we stretch out our back paws. And that is how we can be a dog who is stretching down. Or we can stretch more like Ruby. Ruby prefers to stretch like this. So go back down on your hands and knees, and this time, oh, stretch up. And my, my knees 
the boys and girls are off of the floor. They're off of the floor. I'm up on the tops of my toes. And I'm stretching with my front paws. And I'm stretching with my back paws. And I'm raising my head. And then I'm going to give a big old Ruby yawn. Oh, can you do that? Yawn like a big old tired dog. Very good. Now let's stretch like Maisie again. Do this kind of a dog. Stretching down. Very good. And now let's do a Ruby one. Now let's stretch like Ruby, stretching up. Very good. Now many of you know that we have an animal that lives here at the library. Remember what she is? Yes, we have a cat named Rosie. That's right. And Rosie has been living um, with one of our um, library friends for a few months while we were all doing this funny corona vacation thing. But she's about ready to come back. And she has a favorite pose to do too. She has a way that she likes to stretch. So how about we stretch now like Rosie? Let's do the kitty pose. Let's get on our hands and knees. Okay, you got it? On your hands and knees, just like that. And make your hands kind of like some big starfish. Okay, stretch them out. Stretch out your fingers so much that you can feel in between each one. Okay, put them down. And you're on your hands and knees. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch up our back, arch it big, sort of like that turtle had the shell. Stretch it back, kind of like a Halloween cat does when he hisses. Can you give me a big hiss? Yes. Very good. Okay, now, if we drop down our tummy and stick up our heads and tails, then we look kind of more like a cow. Can you make the sounds with me? Let's make a cow sound. No. I heard you all mooing. That was amazing. Now let's meow like a kitty. Meow. Meow. Now let's be a cow or a cat. Yeah, let's be a cow. I'm getting mixed up. Let's be a cow again. Oh. And now let's be a kitty again. Meow. Just like Rosie. Meow. Very good. That was very good. Now do you want to practice to be a cat when she hisses? Because sometimes cats do like to do that. Put out your claws. Put out your paws. Okay? And make a big, stretch them out big, and then make a big hiss face. Sometimes cats do make that sound when they feel scared. And they're if they're kind of frightened, then they'll do that. Will you do it with me? That was awesome. Very good. If I was, if I was a dog and I was scaring a cat that did that, I would have backed off. Do it one more time. Super awesome. That was a good one. Now, my friends, how about we try to do, oh, talking about a that sounds like another animal I know. What makes that sound? Who wants to try to be a snake with me? Want to try it? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go down on our tummies. Okay? And go down on our tummies and then we're going to push up. All right? And it's sort of like when we were pretending to be Ruby and we were doing the dog stretching up, but we're going to keep our we're going to keep our tummies and our knees on the ground. Okay? So let's go down all the way on our tummies. Are you with me, boys and girls? Lay on your tummies. Okay, my toes are out behind me. My hands are up here by my shoulders. Do you see them? Okay, and on the count of three, we're going to raise up tall. And we're just going to push up on our, uh, on our arms. You ready? One, two, three. Sss, give me a big hiss, snake. Sss, can you do it? Good, let's go back down. Good job. And on the count of three, we'll be little snakes again. Are you ready? One, two, three. Sss, you can stick your tongue out if you want to. Just like a snake hissing. Good job. Good job, friends. You are so good at this. Now, I have one of my favorite animals is um, a bug. I kind of like bugs. And one of them that I really like is a butterfly. And so I thought that it would be really fun for us to try to be butterflies. So will you be a butterfly with me? Okay. Sit down on your little sitter, okay? And then put your feet together, all right? Put your little tootsies together, all right? There we go. And then look at this. Look, I've got wings right here. Here are my little wings. And I can flap them. I can flap my wings. And I can pretend that I'm flying. I'm flying wherever I want to go. Oh, and then I could even put up my little antenna. Yeah, do you see them? Yeah. So try putting up your little antenna. Then you can flap your little wings. We're being butterflies. So yeah, pretend that you're flying all over. Oh, we're butterflies, we're flying. If you could fly anywhere that you wanted to go, where would you fly? Where would you 
fly to, my friends? Now, if I could fly anywhere, ooh, where would I go? I probably would go, I like the mountains. I think I might go fly up in the mountains. And then maybe I would fly from there to my beach, because I like that view. But I also, I super like clouds, so maybe I would just fly right up in the mountains of the sage gardens of the world. That would probably be my favorite. Yeah, I want you to think about your little people, too. Good job. Bring up your little butterfly wings and let's try, let's try, let's see, let's do one more. This is one that you have to balance, okay? You have to, and balancing is very tricky. So if you want to stand next to a chair or maybe you want to like be close to a wall or something like that, you can do that. And if you don't want to, if you are the, the king or the queen of balance, then you just do it in the middle of the room, okay? Whatever floats your boat. So this time, we're going to pretend to be a bird, okay? A bird that is pink, and it is rather large. Do you know what I'm thinking of? It starts with the F letter, yeah, with a F sound. Did I hear somebody say it? I did. That's right, a flamingo. We are going to practice being a flamingo. Now, the cool thing about a flamingo, okay, two cool things. First of all, when you and I stand up, how many legs do we normally stand on? One. Two, yeah, normally we stand on two legs, okay? Flamingos, they stand on one. They have two legs, but they stand on one most of the time. I think that's amazing. Here's another cool thing about a flamingo. They sleep when they are standing up. I do not. I lay down when I sleep, but a flamingo, it sleeps standing up. So here's what we're gonna do, boys and girls. Let's practice standing like a flamingo. So take hold of one leg and you can put, and if you would rather put your foot down there, you can do that. You just kind of want to have a little kick stand on the ground in case you're feeling a little tippy. That's okay. Or you can go all the way up. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, I'm standing there. Oh, now I'm being a flamingo. I can put out my little flamingo wings. Yeah, I can kind of throw out my little flamingo wings. Oh, how about I try closing my eyes? Oh, this might be a little trickier. I'm going to try sleeping like a flamingo. You ready? One, two, three. your eyes and balance. It's crazy. But there you go. Now we tried it on one side. We don't want to get all off kilter. So let's try it on the other side. Remember, you can be a flamingo like this or like this. Or you can be a flamingo like this. And that takes some balance. But it's very good learning how to balance. There you go. Put your little wings out. Flap your little wings. You know what else? Do you know why flamingos are pink? Because they eat something pink. I think that's why. Maybe you should look that up. You should do a little research on what makes a flamingo pink. Okay? Let's try going to sleep, little flamingos. Close your little eyes. Rock your little head. Oh, it's getting harder to balance. But you're doing such a good job. Okay, both feet back on the ground because we are actually not flamingos. We are children. We are people. And we like to stand on both so that we don't tip over so much. Boys and girls, Thank you for getting out your wiggles with me and for attending the very first ever Zoom Moves on YouTube. Oh, can you say that mouthful three times fast? Zoom Moves on YouTube, Zoom Moves on YouTube, Zoom Moves on YouTube. Oh, we did it! Yay! Oh, boys and girls, you know what I want you to do this afternoon? I think that it would be fun for you to tell the story of the tortoise and the hare to somebody in your family and see if you can remember how that story goes. And also, think of what other animals you can pretend to be.